uh, allowing yourself to live a life of abundance. But before I do, I have to say, um, arguably one of the best intros I've ever gotten on a, on a wake-up call or on a webinar, um, encouraging people to take a stick out right in the dirt and take a picture. I'm almost feeling inadequate here with my pen and paper. Uh, <laughs> I really... You know, <laughs> I don't know where you come up with it, Bert, but I'm, I'm, in, I'm, in, um, I'm in awe. I'm in awe of what you do in the industry, and, and you entertain me on top of it. Uh, really a pleasure to be on the call today. So, you know, and Bert, after I go over this stuff, I'd love to just bounce some stuff off each other. You know, if, if people want a couple extra minutes on the call, I'd love it today because I'm, I'm fired up. You've got me fired up. Uh, I love doing these calls. The topic is incredible, right? We talk about abundance. What is abundance, right? And, and, Guys, I mean, obviously, it's, it's having more than you need of something. It's having a lot of something. But too often, okay, we think it's just, we think it's about money, right? We hear, oh, you know, abundance. Well, that means having a lot of money. Well, I'm, I'm going to make the argument today that, yeah, sure, that fits in, but that's not everything, okay? And, and if that's the way you're thinking, uh, you know, open up your mind here and think about it a little differently. I want to ask you a question, and that is that, do you think that people really do what they want to do. They, 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 do you think people really strive towards a goal that's a monetary goal so that they can open up their computer and look at their bank account and have it say a million dollars? Okay, I'm going to argue that they don't. Okay, that people care more about being able to do what a million dollars affords you to do. And that is whatever your passion is. Maybe it's traveling, maybe it's a hobby, maybe it's just the idea of, of playing golf every day, maybe it's spending more time with your family, maybe it's being able to give to every charity or help your church or whatever the case may be, okay? It's important to make that distinction. This conversation is not necessarily about money, okay? It's about having more of what you're passionate about, okay? Now, I am going to tell you something here that is going to seem a little counterintuitive, if you want to live a life of abundance, you have to realize something. And that is that abundance is a byproduct of giving and contribution. Seems a little counterintuitive, right? I mean, people would think, well, if I'm going to have more of something than I would ever need, wouldn't I just have to kind of stockpile it? It's actually just exactly the opposite, guys. Okay? Abundance is a byproduct of giving. It's a byproduct of your level of contribution. Now, in our space, in our industry... We hear it said all the time. Okay, the money you make is going to be directly correlated to the value you put out in the marketplace. How much value have you given? Okay, how much have you put out there? How much have you helped other people? How much have you made room for you to receive? Okay, see, not so counterintuitive, right? So realize something. Okay, realize that, that, that this all starts with putting other people first, okay? Having everything you want is not about having everything you want. It's about giving. It's about contributing. It's about bringing value to other people's lives and making room for a life where you never have to want for anything, okay? So let's talk about steps to living a life of abundance. Well, first step is identifying what that life is. You know, we talk about, I, I have these coaching calls all the time, and I talk to people and I say, what is it that you want? You'd be surprised at how many people can't answer that question. Or they answer it with something so generic. As generic as, oh, well, I want more money. I, I want to be able to pay my bills without having to worry about it. I want, um, I want more time. Okay, I ask you guys, if I go out on the street and I ask a thousand people, who wants more money? Who wants more time? I'm going to get a thousand people to tell me they want more money and want more time. So why don't they have it? Okay, what makes you different? I'm, I'm assuming that you're here because you want to live a life of abundance. So what makes you different? Well, let's start there. Let's identify something that's not, not money or time like everybody else wants and everybody else says when they're asked that question. What does it look like? Identify what your life of abundance looks like. Is it traveling the world? Okay, is it, is it spending more time with your family? Is it that charitable donation? And it can be multiple things, guys, but you have to identify it. It's got to be clear as day. You have to be able to see it. You got to have pictures of it lying on your desk and you got to know what it feels like and it tastes like, even if you've never felt it or tasted it before. Okay, that's, that's about building the belief. That's about recognizing that it is achievable, that you can have it. And if you don't know what it is, well, you can't ever get there. 
Okay, so that's step one, guys. You've got to identify it. Next step is you've got to change your language. Why do I say change your language? Because literally, your words create your world, okay? What you say and the way you say it become your reality. That's, that's just the truth, guys. Okay, nobody who walks through life every day and says, when people say, how you doing? They go, oh, I'm okay. Well, guess how they are? They're just okay. Now, are there things to be grateful for? Is there, is there a reason to be great today? Absolutely. Somebody asked me how I'm doing. I say I'm doing great. Why? Because I am. Okay, I was doing great when I had negative $8,000. <laughs> I was doing great because I had a vision. I had something I was working towards. And that's why I was able to, to achieve that vision. That's why I was able to achieve that goal. And you can too. But you got to change your language. Because that's going to be the beginning of changing the world around you. Okay, now the next is to change your behavior. Why is change your language first? Well, because it's easier. It's easier to change the words. And I don't believe that you can change your behavior until you change your language. Okay, I don't believe that you can go out into the world and say, ah, you know, I'm doing okay. But then your behavior says, ah, I'm a rock star. I'm doing great. I'm super productive. I'm crushing it. I'm helping everybody. Can't be done. Okay, one has to come before the other. And one's easier than the other. So start there. Catch yourself, okay? Catch yourself in what you're saying each and every day, okay? Cater your language towards moving, towards moving on a path to helping more people so that you can live a life of abundance, to being more energetic, to being more giving, to being more upbeat, to being more positive. To, that's how you bring value and energy into, into the world, not just the marketplace, into the relationships around you, into the people you interact with, okay? So after you've changed that language, you need to change your behavior because here's a fact, Okay, if you're not happy with, with what you have, if you, if you feel like you you know what, I'm going to go back to change your language real quickly because I just remembered a nugget that uh, Mark Hoverson gave me at uh, No Excuses 2. And, and I said, you know, I really said, Mark, I really need to, um, I really need to, to focus more on some of your stuff because every time you talk, it's just so powerful. And he said, can I coach you? I said, yes. He said, you need to take the word, you, you have to take the word, you should, let me say, he didn't say you need. He said, you should take the word need out of your vocabulary because it comes from a place of lack. Now, that's the opposite of what we're talking about here, right? We talk about uh, a, a, a abundance. Lack is really the opposite of abundance. So he says, the word need comes from a place of lack. You should replace it with a word like deserve. Instead of saying, I need more money, you say, I deserve more money. Instead of saying, I need more time, you say, I deserve more time. Okay, it's a little shift in language, guys, but it can make a huge, huge difference. And I want to ask you guys, how many times do you say things like, I need, or I'll try, or I hope, or let's see. Guys, when you say something like, I hope this works, okay, you have totally taken control out of your hands. Okay, and that's how powerful language is. You don't realize the way you program yourself. Okay, you, you, you actually set yourself up in a way where you can't allow yourself to succeed if you cannot change your language, okay, and, 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 and set yourself in a direction where you can change the world around you. So now get out there and change that behavior, right? Because the reality is, is that if you're in a place and you're on this call for a reason, if you're in a place because you want more, if you're in a place because maybe you're not happy with your circumstances, well, it's time to take responsibility, okay? It's time to recognize that those circumstances are the way they are because of decisions you've made up to this point, and you're not going to be able to get away with behaving the same way day in and day out and somehow get something extraordinary if you don't have something extraordinary already, okay? Um, you know, the only way to make that happen is to win the lottery, and look what happens to lottery winners, guys. You've all seen the shows, right? Or I used to see the shows before I shut my television off. But, guys, that, so, so you have to recognize that there's a change in behavior necessary here. Okay? If you want more, if you want that life where, where you don't have the worries, you have to change. You, you have to start at fundamental changes. Change your habits. Be better. Bring more value. Contribute more to other people's lives, to the lives of our, our, our industry, you know, people in your team, people on the internet, anybody. Give more, okay? You know, change, change that behavior and recognize that, that, that it's a necessary change. So lastly, guys, is to give. To give, 
and contribute. And again, I said that's kind of counterintuitive, but it's really not when you think about it. Right? You need nature um, hates a vacuum. When you create a vacuum, that vacuum needs to be filled. And the reality is anybody who's, who's super wealthy, okay, when you, when you see these people who are self-made billionaires, uh, one thing you're going to see that, that, that is a common thread that runs through and through is they're very focused on giving back. Why? Well, for, for multiple reasons. You know, it, a, a, there's something incredibly inspirational about helping people. It, it helps you as much to help people, if not more. Okay? It, it's a, I, I believe it's our duty. Okay, as people, you know, but but on top of it, it creates it creates a vacuum. It creates something. If you give, it creates a void, something that needs to be filled. And the more you give, the more you have to produce to give more. Okay, do you see that something like that feeds off each other, off itself, and that's how we end up in a place, okay, where we live a life of abundance. You know, I, I watched um, a video of Jerry Clark on stage at, at Live the Dream. I think one. And, you know, he, he did this whole, he asked everybody what they thought they would be if they had $10, $10 million. What would, what would you do? Right? And people said, oh, I'd give to charity. I'd be happy. I'd be this. And then he made the argument, do you really need $10 million to do all those things? Do you t- need $10 million to be nice? Do you need $10 million to be happy? Do you need $10 million to give to charity? Do you need $10 million to spend more time with your family? You don't. In fact, you need to do those things. You need to change your behavior. Give back to create an environment in which you can live a life of abundance. Do you see how things have flipped around here, guys? Do you see how one comes before the other? Do you see how your language doesn't change once your life changes, your life changes so your language changes? Or your language changes so your life changes, I'm sorry. Do you see how your, your better circumstances doesn't change the way you behave? Your behavior is going to create better circumstances? Do you see how having the money isn't gonna make you figure out what you want? identify what you want identifying what you want is going to get you to where you can have this stuff do you see how having it isn't a reason to give giving okay opens the doors to having is this making sense to you guys okay because this is the this is the path this is the path to creating to opening the gateway to a life of abundance so you know i hope this helped guys I hope this call fired you up. I mean, I've, I'm, I'm, I'm fired up. Got a huge day. Lots of people to talk to today. You know, Bert, are you there, buddy? I'd love... I'm, I'm here. I got... I'm sorry. I put myself on mute, so... I, I have literally... I'm so pumped up. I have like a hundred things that I have to do and get Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, guys, you know, uh, hit me up on Facebook, guys. Actually, my fan page is, is facebook.com forward slash Master Marketers University. Uh, hit me up there. I'd love to get your feedback on the call. Again, facebook.com forward slash Master Marketers University. You got some great free training at that website as well. Um, so head over there. I want to know, what, I want to get your feedback. I'm going to be on and off all day today as we uh, continue to reach out, connect with new people, and, and, and share what we have here in this industry because we do have a better way. It's awesome stuff. Uh, believe, guys, that you can change other people's lives and know that when you believe that and you get out there and you start changing lives, your life's, life is going to change. So hope you enjoyed the call, guys. I can't wait to, to, to take up another guest spot in the future there, Bert, and we'll work on that. And I will uh, talk to you guys all very soon.